Hi all and welcome to another edition of Mix Mowers. Today's video is going to be a bit of a mix and a match day. I have made a couple of mistakes on my previous videos um, that I've been recording. I've been recording the bits I don't want to record and not recording the bits I want to record. So I made a right mess out of two complete videos that I made, which is a, a terrible shame. But it's the way it goes, I can't retrieve it back and that's what it is. So, Right, so, so far to date, what have I been up to? I've got another parcel come through which I showed you all yesterday but didn't record it. I picked up a another transmission box for a Mountfield um, 454. These fit a plethora of engines from what I'm led to believe. Uh, this is brand new and they go for around about 70 odd pounds and I picked this up for nine quid off of uh, eBay. So I do have another Mountfield that can go on um, because that, the, drive is, the drive is particularly sort of um, mucking about on that so I may fit it onto that but that's also a good little spare to have so that's pretty cool. Additionally on that I've installed some new lighting in my shed. I was working just off of one little tiny 40 watt bulb up here which wasn't wasn't um, giving me enough light to even work on to see see myself but I have put some new lighting up let me just show you quickly. I put some new fluorescent tubing up which uh, makes it look like daylight in here so I'm well happy with that which is much better I also yesterday did a video of the FS38 with the carburetor swap I put the new carburetor on and took off the old the old steel one that now runs sweet as a nut unfortunately once again I videoed everything I didn't want to video and everything I did want to video I didn't so I just got lots of video footage of me walking around the shed trying to find tools and talking to myself which is what I'm doing now pretty much but in reverse sort of way so I'll show you the FS38 in a minute um, all up and running I had to do a fine tune on the just mainly just the high end of the carburetor it wasn't peaking uh, at the high end so I had to just change that and I had to make a slight modification to the um, carburetor as well or to the, the actual engine itself but I'll talk you through that in a bit and also I managed to pick up a little, a nice little Honda HRB um, which had a broken pull coil on it so I picked that up and on the way home from picking that up I also found a little sovereign lawnmower on the side of the road um, which was free to collector so I picked that up as well and both since then I've got running the sovereign just needed a new gasket and diaphragm it's got a 450 series Briggs and Stratton engine on it and the Honda just needed a new pull cord so without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's just have a quick little catch up as to what I've been doing over the past two days besides messing up videos so that you guys and girls know exactly what, what I've been up to. Right, so here's a little um, FS38 stream I was doing and literally I just fitted a brand new carburetor onto the strimmer just there. And uh, I renewed the pipes, the air filter, everything. That's all. That's all been done. But literally, just on the on the engine, <coughs> there's a little tiny plastic flap that comes out this way and goes just inside the the hole inside the carburetor. Uh, that was just slightly too wide. I'll show you what I mean. On the old one, on the old one. Let's get this right. Uh, so that goes into. Yeah, that goes onto the engine this side here. The hole on the carburetor on this one is just slightly narrower by, I would say, three mil, um, as it is on the as it is on the front as well. And there's a little tiny flap that just sits in into here. And I had to just just trim the edge off of the engine side just by about two or three mil, just so that would seat fully into it. <clears throat> That's the only modification I had to make. Uh, but now it's had a new spark plug, new carburetor, new hoses, new filter, oil and, um, not oil, uh, fuel and air.
So that's all working exactly how it should and I'm well happy with it and that's now up for sale, so that's cool. I'll quickly just show you these other two mowers I picked up as well. Uh, one Honda and one um, Sovereign, which is, um, I say I picked up one, had a broken pull cord, that was a Honda, I can't believe that. Uh, that was very cheap too, and I also picked up this little Sovereign. So let's have a quick look at those two and see what they look like. So this is a little Honda I picked up. It's a Honda HRB 423, and it had just a broken pull cord, which I've since redone. And that, that was it, I couldn't believe it when a bloke says it's just got a broken pull cord. Um, and it was like, uh, he wanted 40 quid for it originally, but I knocked him down a bit. Um, then I was a bit dubious that that's all it was, because it was being a Honda, but uh, true to word, that's exactly what it was. So let's do a quick fire up. That's on the button. Um, it's had a full service now. Um, I've just got to do the, the spark plug, that's all I've got to do because I haven't got one in for that one. But um, apart from that, the air filter's been done, all change has been done, all that sort of good stuff. So that's a nice little cheap little run around um, and very profitable to turn a penny come the season. So I'll just show you the quick little sovereign I picked up, which is in fantastic condition compared to this one. And here's the little sovereign um, with the 450 series um, 148cc Briggs and Stratton on it. It's in really good condition, it's really clean. Um, I think the reason they were um, giving this, this one away, it wasn't starting. I have put a new diaphragm and gasket on it, however that wasn't the issue, it did start without it, but um, it was just missing ever so slightly. Um, but I don't think that was the actual main issue, but I think I now know what the issue was, I'm sure I should show you a bit later on. Let's just fire this one up. So all I've done is just a gasket and diaphragm, they're about three or four pound to get this up and running. So three or four squirts. So that one's actually cost me nothing apart from a, a gasket and diaphragm. So super happy with that. And I've already got some interest on that one already. So I'm uh, super happy. So I've managed to get that FS38 trimmer up and running. That only cost me $6.99 for a new carburetor. So I'm happy with that. The Honda HRB um, lawnmower, that just cost me a new pull cord and a service, which I do anyway as a standard. So that just cost me about three or four pound for a new pull cord to fit. And then the little Sovereign, I did a gasket and diaphragm change on I didn't necessarily need to, it, it was just missing ever so slightly. And I found out it actually wasn't the cause. The cause of it was, was this spark plug, which is a ALM 19. Now you get these in the UK from lots of different garden centers and what have you. And as you can see, this spark plug is brand new. But when I had this spark plug in it, <coughs> it really didn't want to run at all. So I put in a um, B2LM, an NGK one, and it fired straight up and uh, was good as gold. So I don't think it actually needed a gasket and diaphragm. It has certainly benefited from it, but um, the issue was this spark plug here. Um, and it sparks and does everything it should do, but they're just so cheap, it's unbelievable. And I've had nothing but problems from these myself. So that'll be going for a Burton a bit later on. So what else have I got to do? I've got to do a few other videos for um, some subscribers. They've asked for certain videos. They've asked for me, why do these carburetors not prime? So I've got to look into one of these and see if I can get one of those to prime. I've got to strip some of these down to get for, for parts anyway. But I'm suspecting that it's actually going to be this little tiny straw. That's the issue. I think there might be a blockage inside one of these as to why it's not sucking up. That's what I'm going for. I don't generally take these out but uh, these carburetors are, are non-priming non at the moment, so I will get into one of those very shortly. I need to do the, uh, I've got a little, Hon a little Hater 41, which again has got the height issue on it, which is one of these. I picked up one of these off eBay for about six or seven quid. And I've got the spring somewhere, there's the spring. I've got the spring that's associated with it. That's gotta be fitted. <coughs> To that little hater, so I should get on and do that. And that also needs a cable looking at as well, because I believe the cable is either faulty or not installed correctly. And then I should have a grass box for that little Honda, uh, that little hater, and should make it that one up and running. So that'll be another video coming up very soon. 
from that, I haven't been doing a great deal so I've just been trying to concentrate on getting the lawnmowers I have got better up and running. Moving my uh, toolbox around to give me a bit more room inside my workshop and just having a general tidy up, like installing the lighting so I can actually see what's going on. So all in all, I'm now in a much better situation um, to be working and of course for doing these videos, so that's cool. So that's just a little video of what I've been getting up to recently. And the reasons why you've had no videos coming out from me is because I've just not been paying attention to the camera and making sure that it is actually recording when it when it should be and not just recording me um, scratching my nose and bits and pieces like that. So that's where I am at the moment. So thank you very much for watching this little episode of Mixed Mowers and the reasons why um, I haven't had a video out recently. I've missed two good videos now that I've done, uh, or thought I've done. But I shall catch you very, very soon on my next one. Take it easy. Do you feel the